the road in Pinellas County could soon get a big facelift. Yeah, East Lake Road, it's one of the busiest in Pinellas County. It runs from Trinity Boulevard in the northern part of the county to Curley Road near Oldsmar. In on your sides, Beth Rousseau, live for us in Pinellas this morning with these changes that could be coming. Good morning, Beth. Hey, Chris and Avery. So obviously, yes, there is traffic, but I want to show you what families are really worried about. There's portions of East Lake Road that narrow down to four lanes. If you take a look, you can see there's not much room on either side and families say they're worried that they won't be able to widen it and there is no fix. Traffic backups are constant on East Lake Road in northern Pinellas County. I hate it. Bill Shadrick drives the road daily. He's been watching the area grow for more than three decades. The last year seems to be worse, but it's so bad. It's bad as bad. You know what I mean? There's no fix. People just need to pay a little bit <laughs> there, more. Attention. There's there's no fix. County leaders are searching for a solution in the stretch from Curlew Road to Trinity Boulevard. A recent study shows portions of the road are operating at double its capacity. It says from 2016 to 2020 there were more than 1700 crashes, 10 of them deadly. My wife has been nailed twice on this road. You look over and you, you see the texting and, you, and, and they're not looking up and all that kind of stuff. In order to make the road safer and alleviate congestion, county commissioners are considering changes to intersections and widening portions from four to six lanes. Shadrick is skeptical about the ideas. I don't think they can do anything. I, I really don't. Outside of doing a, an overhead bridge, if you know what I mean, which is silly. Um, you know, sometimes you just have to live in the situations that you're in and make the best of it and be a really, really defensive driver. So, yeah, you can hear the doubt from some of the families that live in this area. So what's next for this process is county commissioners have to decide how they want to move forward, what the next steps are and where they're going to get the funding from. We'll keep you updated on all the latest developments. For now, we're live in Pinellas County. Beth Russo, 8 on your side.